یاقوت شاه قهرمان جهان را شکست داد. یاقوت شاه حکیمی ورزشکار افغان که در کشور استرالیا زندگی می کند توانست عریف خود را که قهرمان جهان در رشته ایوان بود را در راوند حول شکست دهد و عنوان قهرمانی جهان را به نام خود و افغانستان ثبت کند. And this is our A1 middleweight title defense. Let me tell you, it is Afghanistan taking on the Greek Melbourneian and our challenger, Yakut Shah Hakimi. Let me tell you, if you have seen this guy fight, he is unbelievable. He has some of the most exciting kicks, spinning back fists, head kicks, axe kicks, and a guy who has a career. Record of 19 wins, 18 by KO, only the one professional loss. And uh, not really good English speaking, Afghanistan background, a very good fighter. And to me, a guy who could take the title from Tass to Saris tonight. Oh, I, 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 I would think so. You know, I've seen Tass fight a few times. He's very aggressive. He's got great kicks, great, great but he takes risks. Yakimi yeah, uh, is very, very dangerous. To my left, fighting out of the blue corner, the challenger, trained by Michael Bugovic, seconded by Perry Maniatis, and a third by the Pope, John Paul, from the Sting Gym. Our official weight, 69.5 kilograms, standing 5 feet 9 inches tall. Tonight, he's wearing the black shorts with a white trim. He has a professional fight record of 22 fights, 20 wins, and 17 by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, fighting out of Afghanistan, the challenger and number one contender, please welcome Warrior Yakut Shah Hakimi. Our Afghanistan challenger Hakimi. When our announcer was saying this, these guys were staring at each other. I'll never use this word in sports there, but hate is the word. Have a look at Ciceras, our champion. Look at Yakimi, our challenger. This is going to be fireworks, ladies and gentlemen. If you've joined us, Matthew Pelios now joined by former world heavyweight champion, slamming Sam Greco. Firstly, Sam, uh, bad luck on Massey Nuristani. I hope he's OK. But we have our A1 middleweight title on the line. Our Greek-Australian, Tastaceras. Taking on in the black trunks, Yaku Shah Hakimi, proudly sponsored by Ultra Tune. This is our middleweight title, five by three minute rounds. Because I tell you what, in that stare off before, as the referee was giving directions, and that the is the head kick I'm talking about, Hakimi. Hakimi's fast, he's very quick off the mark, he's got beautiful kicks. Tass, Tass will probably want to wear the storm. I don't think he should, but he probably won't wear the storm. Try him out he's a got bit to. and come back. Hakimi will come out with some deadly kicks. Spinning back fists. Oh, the big right. Oh, the... Beautiful front kick there off the rear leg. Front kick could have rocked to Harris. And this is what the danger of Hakimi. Hakimi sort of found his mark and he's basically saying to Harris, show me a bit of respect. You know? but, um, he's just found his mark. He's found low kicks. He's found head kicks. Straight left hands. You know? Tass has got to be smart. Beautiful right hand. Oh, big left. Tessis. Oh, and a good counter left by Tessiris. We know Tess Tessiris can take a lot of punishment, Sam. He can, but it's not about the taking the punishment because the kid can find his mark if Tess is not careful here. But I think what Tess needs to do, he needs to step off. Oh, that head kick again. And refocus on this. Because he's allowing him to tee off. And it's points against him here. There's that body kick. Oh, just found his big mark. body kick. Just underneath. That body kick found the mark. If you have a look at the replay oh, later on, you'll see that it's found it just underneath the elbow. This could be one of the big oh. upsets. It could be over. It is over. We have a new champion. We have a new world middleweight champion, Sam Greco. Look, Yakut Hakimi in the first round. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this. I knew it was going to be a grudge match. I thought Tass might have come in a bit more dominant, but he just allowed Hakim to basically dominate and pick his mark. And Tass couldn't afford to sit there. And that was the danger of Hakimi. 
Michael Vukovic, let's give him credit. He brought this guy to the gym as we look you at the replay. Look at this, there's that body kick as a shot straight under the elbow, which drops and perhaps even broken his wrist. When it hits the kidney, that one second, isn't it, Sam? Yeah, and like I said, he's just waited. He waited all, all the fight for him and just, just allowed to do and dictate whatever he wanted to. This crowd is going nuts here in Melbourne. What an honour it's been. It's been unbelievable. I said there was going to be knockouts, and this is exactly why well, I've I've had a change about. in title, a very disappointed test series. He really didn't follow his game plan. He, he exactly what he had to do is stay away from those dangerous kicks from Hakimi. He didn't. He stayed in range and he got blown apart. Yeah, he just sat there, unfortunately, like a sitting duck, if you want to put it that, that way, but just let him tee off on him. And Hakimi just picks his picks his marks, picks his points and hits him. And it's the unfortunate. You saw that that uh, Tass was covering up a fair bit, sitting off the rope. And, again, and you'll see it again here. There's that body kick straight across the midsection. In fact, the knee went straight across. I felt he was hurt before that, Sam. I oh, definitely, look, without a doubt. And like I said, he just made, Hakimi made his mark tonight. And congratulations to him and his camp. And commiserations to Tass. You know, and, and Yakutsha Hakimi, a very gentle, not really sp English speaking, uh, Afghanistan background. And he's a warrior. And he's as tough as nails. And this man is now the world A1 middleweight champion. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got Graham, uh, Burke, Graham, Graham Burke's grandson, Solomon Burke, here to present the A1 World Middleweight title. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Eddy puts a stop to this contest. One minute and 27 seconds into the first round. Your winner by knockout and new A1 Middleweight result in the Melbourne. Warrior, Yakut Sha that is a, just an amazing win. The, just, not the, not the, that he's surprised me winning it. I actually thought he might upset Taz, but the devastating style he did it, Sam. He did a devastating style, but you know, coming in as an underdog, he's got no pressure. He gave it everything.